whether you're a budding music producer or an experienced audio engineer. Understanding the electrical components and terms associated with audio gear can significantly enhance your grasp on how your audio gear functions. Hi, welcome, welcome back to RAC, where we talk all things audio production and sound. And you guessed it, today we are going over some key terms and components in your electronic gear that'll help make you understand how your gear works. Let's get into it. This knowledge is not only vital for troubleshooting, but also for making informed decisions when purchasing or upgrading your audio setup. Hi, I'm Diana Everett. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and RAC grad. Let's go. We will be doing a few of these videos, so if there are specific terms you'd like me to go over or examples of how this would work, we can also open up some circuits, we can go do that. I think it'll be lots of fun, but I also find this stuff fun. <laughs> so I don't know if it's fun for everyone and it might be a little bit niche. However, I think it's so important when understanding your gear. So if this is interesting, I've already done a few little videos on soldering and what you might need. I do like building gear. I've built microphones, I've built little speakers. If it's interesting, do let me know. I have a lot of videos that I kind of have in the bank for it, but we're just going to start with some basic terms and some key components. And I hope this will be helpful because I find it super, super interesting. So first on the list is voltage. What is voltage? <laughs> Again, this is very basic stuff, but when understanding, it really helps. Voltage is the electrical potential difference between two points in a circuit, and it is measured in volts. It is the driving force that pushes the electric current through the circuit. In audio gear, voltage plays a critical role in powering amplifiers, which boosts the audio signal to drive speakers and headphones. The voltage rating of your equipment will determine its compatibility with various power sources, as well as its overall performance. Ensuring that your audio gear operates within the recommended voltage range is essential for maintaining sound quality and longevity. Second on the list, impedance. Impedance is a fundamental concept in audio gear, particularly when dealing with speakers and headphones. It measures the opposition that a circuit presents to the flow of alternating current, or AC. This is measured in ohms. Ohm. In simpler terms, impedance affects how much power your audio gear needs to operate efficiently. Low impedance devices tend to draw more current, making them suitable for portable devices. High impedance devices usually require more voltage and are often paired with dedicated amplifiers for optimal performance. Matching your impedance of your audio equipment with the source ensures better sound quality and prevents potential damage to your gear. Number three, capacitors. Capacitors are essential components in audio circuits. They are primarily used for filtering and storing electrical energy. They consist of two conductive plates separated by an insulating material called a dielectric. In audio applications, capacitors are often utilized in crossover networks within speakers to separate the different frequency ranges and send them to the appropriate woofer or tweeter. If you want a video on how speakers work, we recently did one. It'll be in the description below. You should check it out. Now back to capacitors. They also play a critical role in power supply circuits where they help smooth out voltage fluctuations, ensuring a stable power flow to the audio components. The capacitance value measured in farads determines how much charge a capacitor can store and release, impacting the overall sound quality. Number four, resistors. Resistors are components that oppose the flow of electric current and the resistance is measured in ohms. In audio gear, resistors are used to control signal levels, balance impedance, and protect audio components from excessive current. For example, in a headphone circuit, resistors can be used to adjust the volume level, as well as maintain a balanced sound output. They are also employed in crossover networks to ensure that each driver receives the appropriate amount of power. Understanding the role of resistors is crucial for anyone who wants to modify or repair audio equipment. Number five, diodes. Diodes are components that allow current to flow in one direction only, functioning as a one-way valve in electronic circuits. In audio gear, diodes are used in signal rectification, which is the process of taking an AC signal to a DC, so an alternating current signal to a direct current signal. This process is vital in power supply circuits of audio equipment, ensuring the components receive steady, reliable DC voltage. Diodes can also be found in protection circuits, safeguarding sensitive components from voltage spikes and reverse polarity. All right, so I hope you found that interesting 
interesting, there will be a few more videos going over the different components that you'll find in your audio gear and key terms that will help you understand how all of it works. If you like this video, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. We come out with new content every week. Also, I'm taking video requests, so put it down below. I have a whole bunch of demo videos. I hear you guys, I'm trying to do them. They just take longer to edit. So we have a bunch coming out, which I'm really excited about. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.